Hey guys, in this video, I want to cover some of the general questions that I have been getting and also this depleting RBMK reactor that I made two weeks ago and the problem of it exploding. So this problem can be solved using chunk loaders as you can see on your screen right now. So we are going to see that. And then we are also going to dive into some common questions as I told you, like the tungsten crate for charging the crucible, the armor modification table, and also the charging stations in order to charge all of your power armors. So if these are the questions that you guys have, then this video is going to answer them all. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. I want to start with the depleting RBMK reactor that I posted two weeks ago. This is the exact design right here and as you can see, high enriched plutonium is being depleted at a pretty fast rate. Now if we take a look at the power levels, they are holding at 9.5 million Hg per second so there is no steam blockage and the water levels are looking pretty good. So if this reactor is exploding, then it is not due to the design of the reactor. It is because the reactor is placed in an unloaded chunk. This is an issue that many reactors like RBMK reactor, even DFC reactors face. So right now as I am standing here, all of the chunks around me are loaded. And as the reactor is placed in a loaded chunk, it will not explode. But let's say that I go somewhere far away and come back again. Then the reactor will be in an unloaded chunk and it will explode. In order to solve this issue, we can use chunk loaders. The one I am showing you here is the one from the chicken chunks mod and another option is using a world anchor from railcraft mod. So first let's start with the world anchor. So in railcraft you will get 4 different types of world anchors. I am going to show you the normal one. Place an end apple and then it will keep your chunks loaded for a total of 12 hours. So just by placing one world anchor it will load chunks around it in a certain radius. And that will keep your chunks loaded. So that's the world anchor and one benefit that you have using railcraft is there are also another options available if you are playing on a server. So there is the personal anchor, passive anchor and also the admin anchor. Now let's take a look on the chunk loader which is available from the chicken chunks mod which I would personally prefer using. Cause not only does this load the chunks but it also shows the chunks as well. So if I use the show lasers option. It will show me the area which is being chunk loaded right now and this is a total of 9 chunks radius. And yeah, so right now currently 9 chunks are being loaded by our chunk loader. Now customizing this chunk loader is also very easy. And you can increase or decrease the amount of chunks that you are loading. So if you press the plus button, so now we are loading a total of 25 chunks. And if I press the minus button, then it will start or basically it will reduce the number of chunks that it is loading. So if I just load a single chunk, which is a 16 by 16 area, we will only load one of the RBM carrier. So that was the chunk loading issue. You can basically use chunk loaders in order to prevent RBM case from exploding. But yeah, um, be careful while building RBM reactors. Now here's another design of the same RBM reactor, which is using control rods. The previous reactor that I showed you had no control rods, so there was no real way of controlling it. Now this RBMK reactor right here has three control rods placed on the medium enriched plutonium side, which you can use to control the temperature of the high enriched plutonium. So the high enriched plutonium goes in the reflector side without any control rods and the medium enriched plutonium goes in the control rod side. Now as both of the reactors are identical, they will produce nearly the same amount of power as you can see from the turbines right here. But right now, if we take a look on the depletion levels, the high enriched plutonium is depleted at nearly 10.7%. When the depletion level which is higher, let's say 30%, you can raise one of the control rods. I have color coded all the rods differently, like red, blue, oh sorry, red, yellow, and green. So you can either raise the red, oh sorry, or the yellow or the green rod in order to raise the temperature of the HEP rod again. And once the depletion level is like 50%, you can raise the red rod. Don't raise it before, otherwise the reactor will explode. Alright, so now I'm going to leave this RBMK reactor running and just so that I can show you guys that it doesn't really explode. And next cover up the tungsten crate and how you can use it to charge the crucible. So here's a simple DFC reactor. Like it has the normal components, emitter, receiver, fuel injector and stabilizer. And it is producing 10.3, oh sorry, 1.3 terahertz per second. Now what you can do is replace the DFC receiver with the tungsten crate. And once you hit the tungsten crate with the DFC beam, it will start heating up. And this will be shown in the GUI of the crate as well. 
This can be used to craft your knife. So place some polonium billets in the tungsten crate and when you hit it with the DFC beam, all of the polonium will be converted into uranite billets. Now these billets can be used to craft many interesting things. First one of them being the uranite insert which will reduce your damage by 99%. Next up it is also used in the sherbidium bullet assembly and finally this can be used to craft the crucible, one of the strongest weapon in the mod. Now crucible can only be used to hit 3 times. So if I get the crucible here and basically change my game mode to survival, you will see that each use takes out a durability or basically a charge from it. Once you have hit enemies three times, your crucible will completely be out of charge. In order to charge it again, place it in a tungsten crate and fire up your DFC reactor or DFC beam for just a small time. And that will charge up your crucible once again. And it's ready for use. Next up, there was a question about the armor modification table. The thing is that the armor modification table supports shift click. So no matter how many components or armor components that you have in your inventory, you don't need to know in which slot they are going to go. Simply shift click them and they will end up in the correct slot. So here, if I shift click the shackles, it will end up in the special slot. And you can use the same thing with all of the other armor components as well. If nothing fits there, then it is not going to go in the armor modification table. So yeah, it's a pretty versatile thing. And finally, there was a question regarding charging all of the power armors and also other things that are in your inventory. So I have the remnants power armor and as you can see, it has lost some of its charge. You can use the charging station in order to charge any armor piece that you are wearing. Simply stand in front of the charging station and that will charge your power armors up. Now this not only applies to power armors but also any other material that can be charged in your inventory. So let me get a power cell here. Let's say that I am going to go with the lithium ion power cell. Now this power cell can hold total 750 kilohs inside it and right now it is completely discharged. So if I stand just one block in front of the charging station, you will see that the lithium ion cell will start or basically start charging slowly. And if you stand long enough, it will be charged completely. The charging station can be placed on the side of the block and behind it you can attach any power source. Now throughout this entire recording, our depleting reactor was running. As you can see, our depletion level has reached 17% and yet the reactor has not exploded. So yeah guys, just keep your reactors in a loaded chunk and they will stop exploding. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Peace out my guys.